As I speak to you live, something unexpected is happening with uh, 3i Atlas, and this is the part that caught my attention. The object isn't breaking apart at all. It's forming strange, organized structures that we've never observed in an interstellar visitor. Astronomers around the world just watched something that almost never happens. An object from another star system flew into our solar system, moved in a way no one expected, and then refused to reveal where it came from. For days, the path of 3i Atlas made no sense at all. Its orbit kept shifting, different teams got different answers, and the usual tools for figuring out a trajectory completely failed. Then, something unusual happened. A planet we've known for decades, Mars, suddenly became the key to unlocking the mystery. In this video, we'll break down why 3i Atlas confused every observatory, how Mars ended up rescuing its orbit, and what this means for the next interstellar objects heading our way. And here's the strange twist. Once astronomers used Mars to fix the path of 3i Atlas, they realized they may have uncovered a new way to study visitors from beyond our solar system, one that changes how we track interstellar mysteries forever. Why 3i Atlas was such a problem? When astronomers talk about objects from outside our solar system, they usually sound calm, but sometimes something shows up that makes everyone pay attention, and 3i Atlas became one of those moments almost right away. Before it appeared, we had seen only two interstellar visitors. The first was 1i Oumuamua, which passed through in 2017 and had a strange shape and a tiny push that no one could fully explain. The second was 2i Borisov in 2019, which looked more like a normal comet but still proved that pieces of other star systems can enter ours. With only two interstellar objects ever recorded, finding a third was a major moment. So when a new streak appeared on survey images, astronomers quickly realized 3i Atlas had joined a very rare group. Its speed and sharp angle already hinted it did not come from anywhere near our sun. A routine sky scan first caught it as a faint, fast-moving streak, and even though the signal was weak, it shifted between images in a way nothing common ever does. Telescopes rushed to capture more data, but with interstellar visitors, every hour counts, and the early images were messy and inconsistent. Astronomers hoped that more observations would solve the confusion, but instead, more measurements made things more complicated. The first tries at plotting its path showed that 3i Atlas was on a hyperbolic path, which is the kind of path you expect from something coming from outside the solar system. But the problem was that the numbers around that path had very large uncertainties. Everyone agreed that it was not captured by the sun's gravity, but people disagreed about how fast it was going and exactly where it had come from. Different groups ran their own calculations, and although the results looked similar on the surface, they did not match well enough. When something is moving at tens of kilometers per second, even a tiny difference in speed or angle becomes a huge difference over long distances. That meant each team had a different idea of where the object might go next. Because of this, the predicted future path of 3i Atlas did not look like one neat line. Instead, it looked like a spray of many lines going in slightly different directions, almost like sparks from a firework. It made people ask, how can anyone understand something if its path will not stay steady? Orbit paths are supposed to help us figure out not only where an object is going, but also where it came from. When the path is unclear, we cannot trace it backward through space to learn its origin. Was it pushed out of a young star system? Did it come from the direction of the Milky Way's disk? Did it drift for millions of years before entering our area? Without a clear path, we could not answer any of those questions. This was a serious problem because we do not get second chances with this kind of visitor. Once an interstellar object leaves, it is gone forever. One eye Oumuamua had already left us with unanswered questions. Two I Borisov had given us only a few solid clues. Now the third visitor was also slipping away before we could understand it. There was also another worry behind all this. These visitors do not just tell us about themselves, they also tell us about the places they came from. 
when planets crash into each other, or when strong gravity throws objects out of their home systems, those pieces drift through space until something, such as our Sun, pulls them close enough for us to detect. These pieces carry clues about other star systems, clues that we cannot get in any other way. But to compare them, we need to know their paths clearly. Without clear paths, we cannot build a picture of how common these events are or what kinds of star systems are sending this material into space. The longer astronomers worked on the early observations, the clearer it became that 3i Atlas was moving too quickly and too unpredictably to pin down easily. When you are tracking something more than 100 million kilometers away that changes position every minute, even tiny errors become large gaps in the final answer. And since the object was already fading, there was no time to send a spacecraft after it or wait for another chance. Some astronomers explained the situation by saying that trying to track 3i Atlas was like trying to draw a straight line on paper while the paper kept moving. The more they tried to fix the orbit, the more uncertain it became. Astronomers had the data, they had the models, and they knew the object would not stay visible for long. What they did not have was a point in the sky they could trust completely, and without that, the path of 3i Atlas would remain a mystery. The genius move, using Mars as a celestial calibration tool. Have you ever wondered how astronomers can look at a moving dot in the sky and somehow figure out the exact path it's taking through space? Orbit hunting sounds simple when you first hear about it, because the basic idea is that if you look at an object in space at different times and mark where it appears, you can fit a curve around the sun that shows the path it is taking. Astronomers do this every day with asteroids and comets, and most of the time it works smoothly because those objects move at steady speeds and follow predictable shapes. The problem is that this whole method depends on having clear positions to work with, and it depends on something most people don't think about. Earth is not standing still. While we are watching an object move, we are also moving around the sun, which means our point of view keeps changing. This is where something called parallax comes in. Parallax is the shift you see when you close one eye and then the other while looking at something nearby, and it jumps a little. That same effect happens in space, except the differences are much smaller, and astronomers need to measure those tiny shifts very carefully to figure out how far away an object is and how fast it is moving. This method usually works well for objects inside our solar system because they move slowly enough for astronomers to get many good measurements. Interstellar visitors, however, break almost every rule that this method depends on. They move much faster than regular comets, and they do not loop back around the sun, so you cannot wait for a second chance to observe them from a better angle. They show up suddenly, get close enough to see for a short amount of time, and then disappear forever. Many of them are faint, and they often pass near the direction of the sun in the sky, which makes observing them difficult because the sunlight washes out the image. The data we do get is usually noisy, meaning the points are scattered or blurry, and they come from many different telescopes, each with its own settings and filters. When you try to combine all that into one clean picture, things can get messy very quickly. For 3i Atlas, the challenge became even more complicated. The angle between Earth, the Sun, and the object was not helpful, which meant the parallax effect that astronomers rely on did not give them much to work with. When the angle is wide, the shift is easier to measure, but when the angle is small, it becomes harder to tell how far away the object really is. On top of that, the observations were taken from different locations around the world and at slightly different times, using different instruments that do not always line up perfectly. Even the best telescopes can have tiny differences in timing or how they point at the sky and at interstellar distances. Those tiny differences grow into large uncertainties. Imagine trying to draw the outline of a moving object when each picture is taken with a different camera and at a slightly different angle. You can still see the object, but piecing together its true path becomes much harder. This created a strange and growing tension in the astronomy community, because different groups looking at the same object 
kept getting results that did not fully agree. Some teams believed it behaved like a simple comet, just one that came from outside the solar system, while others pointed to odd changes in brightness that made it look more like a cloud of fragments breaking apart. A few wondered if something more unusual was happening. The debates grew because everyone knew this was a rare event, and the idea that we might be watching something so unusual while still failing to sharpen the picture felt uncomfortable. How can such an important object stay blurry even when dozens of telescopes are studying it at the same time? The answer came down to the quality of the data. When the measurements themselves have problems, even the best models cannot undo that, and 3i Atlas seemed determined to challenge every tool astronomers used. Normally, when orbit data is messy, the solution is simple – gather more observations. But in this case, adding more noisy points risked making the problem worse, because the errors would mix together and push the orbit solution around instead of helping it settle. Interstellar objects do not give clean, repeated signals like planets or well-known comets, and with 3i Atlas, every new measurement had to be treated carefully because it could shift the answer in a different direction. Another difficulty was that astronomers usually measure positions by comparing objects to distant stars, which act like fixed reference points. But even those stars have tiny measurement errors that are too small to matter in normal cases, but too large for something moving across space at extremely high speed. Relying only on star-based references could not clean out the systematic errors that were hiding inside the data. At this point, astronomers faced a problem that felt simple to describe, but nearly impossible to solve. The usual methods that solve 99 out of 100 orbit problems were simply not enough here. Because the object moved too quickly, the viewing angle was too poor, the timing differences were too large, and the data from different telescopes refused to line up neatly. The only thing everyone agreed on was that the path they were building was not solid enough to trace back to its origin, and without that, the entire purpose of studying an interstellar visitor would be weakened. The turning point came when astronomers realized that they needed something different something that would not behave like another faraway star and would not carry the same hidden uncertainties buried in the data. They needed a reference point that was close enough, bright enough, steady enough, and well-known enough that nothing about it would introduce extra errors. And that led to a surprising thought. To really fix the path of 3i Atlas, they needed a reference that was not another distant star, but a planet. The fixed trajectory revealed something strange. When astronomers were struggling to figure out the path of 3i Atlas, the breakthrough finally came from something no one expected – Mars. At a few key moments, the interstellar object and Mars ended up in the same general part of the sky, and even though this seemed like a small detail at first, it became the turning point that changed everything. Telescopes taking pictures of 3i Atlas accidentally captured Mars in the exact same frame, and this overlap created the perfect chance to compare the two. It was almost like the universe handed astronomers a small gift right when they needed it most, because this single alignment gave them a solid reference point they could trust completely. How could a planet we see all the time suddenly become the key to solving one of the hardest orbit puzzles in years? The answer came from the fact that Mars is not just another bright dot in the sky. It is one of the most carefully studied places in our solar system. For decades, space agencies have sent orbiters, rovers and landers to Mars, which means we know its orbit with incredible accuracy. Scientists can tell you the position of Mars in space down to tiny fractions of a kilometer, something that is not possible for stars that are light years away. Those distant stars appear fixed, but the measurements we make of them carry small errors that barely matter for normal astronomy, but matter a great deal when you are tracking something moving as fast as 3i Atlas. Mars, on the other hand, is close enough and measured well enough that the uncertainties in its position are much smaller. This made it a powerful tool without anyone realizing it at first, because having the red planet and the interstellar visitor in the same picture 
meant astronomers could compare the two directly instead of relying only on star positions that were too distant to give them the precision they needed. Once astronomers understood what this lucky overlap meant, they started using Mars as a kind of anchor or ruler. Observers measured the position of 3i Atlas relative to Mars inside the exact same images. Since Mars's position is known extremely well, they could tell how far off their earlier measurements had been. This helped them clean up small timing errors, small pointing errors, and even the parallax problems that had made the orbit so messy. If you want a simple way to picture what they did, imagine drawing a shaky pencil line on a piece of paper. If you place a perfectly straight ruler next to it, you can see exactly where the pencil line bends or wobbles. In this case, 3i Atlas was the shaky line, and Mars was the ruler. The planet did not change anything about the object itself, but it helped astronomers correct the mistakes in how they had been looking at it. With this new information, the data could finally be reanalyzed in a way that actually worked. The messy orbit shapes that used to spread out like a spray of guesses suddenly began to narrow down into one clear path. The calculations that once pointed in different directions now lined up with each other. Instead of dozens of possible tracks through the solar system, the models shrank to something tight and reliable. Astronomers could now say with confidence that 3i Atlas was on a hyperbolic orbit that fit the definition of an interstellar visitor, and they could also measure its speed more accurately. Before this, they weren't certain whether it was more like a gentle drifter or something closer to a high-speed bullet, but once the Mars-based corrections were applied, they could see its true motion far more clearly. This also helped them figure out where in the sky the object really came from. The earlier guesses had pointed to slightly different regions, which made it impossible to match 3i Atlas to any particular star or group of stars in the galaxy. After the corrections, its inbound direction became much more precise. It still did not point directly back to a specific star, but it did give astronomers a better idea of the part of the sky it drifted from and how long it might have been traveling between star systems. This also made it easier to compare 3i, Atlas to 1, I Oumuamua, and 2, I Borisov, because without a clean path, these comparisons were just guesses. Now, astronomers could see where 3i Atlas sat on the scale between a normal comet and something stranger. It seemed to fall somewhere in the middle. Not as unusual as 1, I Oumuamua, but definitely not as ordinary as 2, I Borisov. Why is it so surprising that Mars turned out to be the problem solver here? Usually, when astronomy hits a difficult problem, people look to new telescopes, new computer models, or new observing strategies. In this case, none of those things made the difference. Instead, the answer came from a planet we have been studying for more than 50 years, a planet that has become almost familiar. Mars is dusty, cold, and ancient, but because we know it so well, it became the silent collaborator that brought everything into focus. It did not matter that this interstellar object came from far beyond our solar system. What mattered was that for a few nights, it appeared in the same piece of sky as a world we have landed on, orbited, mapped, and measured with great care. Once Mars had done its job as a cosmic anchor, astronomers could finally step back and see that this was not just a one-time trick, but a method they might use again. If one planet could fix the orbit of 3i Atlas, then maybe the planets of our solar system could help us study future interstellar visitors more accurately too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the next video for more exciting content.